Utah mother of three went into labor at only 21 weeks and one day, making her son Curtis the youngest baby in the world to be born premature and survive. WVUA 23's Ajane Robinson joins us live. Ajane, you visited the adorable world record holder and his mother, Michelle. Yeah, Tamika, that's right. I had the opportunity of meeting this little bundle of joy. And let me tell you, he was so precious. I was nervous. Yeah. Michelle Butler was actually pregnant with twins. Soon after the twins were born, nurses started post-birth care, hoping to increase the baby's chances of survival. Unfortunately, one of the little ones showed signs they were too premature and passed away a day later. It, it was devastating, but I ended up um, praying and the Lord told me if I give, if you give me one, I can let you keep one. And that's all I did. I just kept faith. This is Curtis, and when he was born, he was weighing in at 15 ounces. Now Curtis is one years old and weighing in at 18 pounds and 9 ounces. So he's a growing, beautiful boy. Isn't that right, Curtis? Yes. Okay. <laughs> After surviving the first day and then the first week and then the first month, Curtis received around the clock care over the next nine months. If I was to, you know, go through anything like that again, I will make them my first choice. I did have my good days and my bad days, and I know he had his good and bad days as well. But I was just like more excited when they told me that, you know, he can get discharged to come home. After 275 days in the UAB RNICU, Curtis was discharged on April 6, 2021. A baby with less than 1% chance of survival was healthy enough to go home to his family. I was ready. I had did all my training up there. I was, every time they was doing something, I was right there in their face, learning on, you know, hands on with them. And I was there ever since I was, uh, ever since I had him. So it was just like, I've been studying him, learning, you know, different things on him. Six months after Curtis's discharge, his care team gathered to surprise Michelle and Curtis with a certificate from the Guinness World Records of the most premature baby to survive. Curtis is now a healthy one-year-old boy who enjoys his walker to move around the house and play with his family. Reporting live, I'm Ajane Robinson, WVUA 23 News.